I spent the first 25 years of my life like, like a spectator, watching other people get successful and then wondering why I wasn't. Success is your duty. It is your obligation and your responsibility. I love living. I think that's infectious. It's something that you can't fake. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. There's nothing more pitiful to my mind than the person who wastes his life running from one thing to another, forever looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and never staying with one thing long enough to find it. No matter what your goal may be, perhaps the road to it can be found in the very thing in which you're now engaged. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. Now fear is going to be a player in your life. But you get to decide how much. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here. And the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Because everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart. And all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. Why not take a chance on faith as well? Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. I hope you are inspired to know that if I can dream big, then so can you. There are no walls. Find your peace and you'll make your walls doors.